To view the contents of a list, we just need to navigate to our desired list and click on the tile. We can see the contents of our mailing list will now be shown on screen. The software provides a lot of tools to be able to effectively view and manage your subscribers. When you scroll down by default, you can see the column headings contained at the top of your list. This tells you the type of data. So in here we've got the mobile contacts, company name, surname, first name. As we scroll down, more data will be loaded. If you click on the button up here, you can turn on sticky headings. This means that as you scroll down, the heading titles will stay on screen the whole time. This makes it a little bit easier if you've got a lot of data to view. You can turn off sticky headings by clicking the icon again. You will note that all your subscribers have a status, active, inactive, unsubscribe or bounce. Active means they're a live subscriber inside your mailing list and will be included on future mailings. Inactive is an option you can set. This means you can suppress them from future mailings by effectively classing them as an inactive user. Unsubscribe is a user who has unsubscribed from your previous mailings and a bounce user is perhaps an inbox that no longer exists so the email bounced. If you use the filter menu up here, you can change which data you show on screen. For example, if we just wish to see which users have unsubscribed, we can turn off bounce, active and inactive. We can see here we're now just viewing our unsubscribed users. Because we have filters applied, the filter button will stay lit up. If we click on it again, perhaps we can change what we want to view and just view active and bounced users. To view all our users, just click, just tick all the boxes. The next menu over here, columns, enables us to adjust what we're viewing. By default, the software will only show the columns that you've got data for. For example, if you don't hold any mobile numbers, you won't see the mobile column over here. This is controlled by keeping on hide empty. So hide empty will always hide empty columns. However, you can filter this down a little bit more if desired. For example, if you don't want to show a user's mobile number, or perhaps their ref field or status, we can turn them off and you can see the data has been updated live in the background. You can also use the three dots here to change the order how the data is displayed. For example, if you wish their first name to appear first, we can click on the drag icon and move it to the top. If we click out, we can now see that first name will be displayed as the very first column. Because we've got filters applied again, this button remains lit up. If we wish to turn on all the columns or hide an empty, we can toggle it back on. You'll also notice as well, some of our users have tags assigned to them. If we click on the tags menu up here, we can have some options to choose what we're viewing. If we click on hide untag, this means that any user who doesn't have a tag assigned to them will be hidden. So we can see our loyalty club members are now just shown on screen. Let's turn this back off to view all of our mailing list. In addition to that, you can also change the order in which data is shown. For example, if you click on one of the headings here, say company, you can change the sort order. This will now flip between ascending and descending. You can also do the same for other columns, for example, the surname. At the bottom here, you can see some additional tools to give you a little bit more information about the list. Here's the list ID. This is perfect if you're using the API and need to make calls against it. Here's a summary of the contacts. So we can see this mailing list has 100 contacts. If we click on this, this will now show a breakdown of the list. We can now see that 89% of this list are active subscribers, 4% bounced, 4% unsubscribes, and 3% marked as inactive. The next button shows the overall health of the list. This is currently scoring 98% and we can click on it for a little bit more information. This shows a summary of your last list AI claim. So how many dead domains there were, how many invalid format and so on. You can download a full report of the last list AI claim by clicking on the download button here. The date field here also shows when this list was last cleaned. It's recommended to request a clean on this list fairly regularly. And finally, we've got the search icon down here. This is perfect if you're looking for a certain subscriber. For example, let's click on it 
and it's now prompting us to type in our search criteria at the top. So let's type in a name. When you're ready to search, press enter. Okay, we can now see our top result here and we can click on the view button to view their contact card. When you're on the mailing list section, by default, it will just search the current list. You can click on the drop down menu here to change what you're searching for. So if you wish to search everything, all your subscribers or a campaign, you can choose one of the relevant options from the menu at the top.